I think I must have loved pictures all of my life. Some of my earliest recollections of being comforted uh, by being shown pictures, of my father drawing pictures uh, while holding me in his lap, for example. My grandmother trying to ease my crying by showing me Japanese prints. And during most of my life, when I've had a chance to make pictures, I have either photographs or drawings or block prints or paintings. I came into landscape painting relatively late. I was already a student at the University of Georgia. And uh, while I didn't take formal painting classes, I did form close associations with the faculty and the students there and was usually allowed to exhibit with them in their annual competitions, and I nearly always won some prizes. After school, the time spent in painting had to be very much reduced because of my education. I took a degree in chemistry, then I took a degree in medicine. After I graduated in medicine and began to work, I went as long as 10 years without painting at all. However, eventually, when I came to realize that I needed something besides my profession, I turned back to painting as a sort of a mistress. I think I served her well, and I think she served me well. I would have liked sometimes for both her and me to have gotten more attention, but on the other hand, I've enjoyed the anonymity. I've enjoyed the privilege of being able to drive around and park pretty well, pretty near anywhere I wanted to and paint without people being overly curious or bothering me in any way. Most of the landscape paintings have been here in Oconee County because that's where I lived. I learned to paint very rapidly. In fact, at one time, early in my career, I took a bus up to North Georgia before I had a car and I painted 18 watercolors in two days. This doesn't say whether they were all very good or not, but it does illustrate the speed with which I normally work. I keep my finished paintings either framed uh, or in uh, trays. Things like this are done on the spot this is here in Oconee County. And so is this with the full moon rising over a peach orchard. And since I work on the spot and work rapidly, the pictures are usually true to the place and the weather of that particular day. The skies and the ground go together.
river Oh Shenandoah I long to hear you Wayward bound away Cross the wide Missouri Oh Shenandoah I love your daughter Away you rolling river Oh Shenandoah I love your daughter Cross the wide Missouri Oh Shenandoah I'm bound to leave you Away You rolling river Oh Shenandoah I'll not deceive you Away We're bound away Cross the wide Missouri to hear you away you rolling river oh Shenandoah I long to hear you away we're bound away cross the wide Missouri away we're bound away cross the When I began painting over 50 years ago, I didn't have a pickup truck or even an automobile as far as that's concerned, and I had to walk wherever I went. I had to sit down on the ground where I painted. This posed certain problems, chiefly with ants crawling up into me and my work both. It was a great joy later on when I did have a pickup truck to fix up uh, equipment such as you see here with a canopy overhead. One of my friends remarked when he was showing my method of working to his children, he, has, he said, now you'll notice there's, there's, there's nothing Roy uses except his brushes that was made for painting. I never had thought about it in that light, but it's, it's, it's just about true. The uh, stand is a, is a little TV cart. The tubes of paint are kept in a plastic picnic food tray. The tray is a beef tray. The uh, colors and the tacks are in a freezer, ice cube freezer trays. The uh, water is just in a, any kind of plastic cup I could get. The sponge is a, is a normal sea sponge. My chair is my medical examination chair, which I used to use in the office, being metal and rot proof it can stay out in the truck all of the time the canopy overhead is a painter's drop cloth this is a setup from which i have done by far most of my landscape painting it keeps me out of the, the direct sun i can clip the drop cloth on either side so I can keep both the wind and the sun off of the uh, uh, direct paper. Lies. Lord of all to thee 
our hymn of grateful praise. I said a while ago that uh, I had enjoyed anonymity, and that's true, but uh, it's like most things, it's not really totally true because in the beginning I wasn't all that anonymous. Uh, all through college and through medical school and even through internship, I painted occasionally and submitted things to competitions and won several prizes locally and in Georgia and in the southeast. But, uh, after that, after I s stopped painting for about 10 years, uh, when I went back into it at, in the early 60s, I found that the style and the judge's taste had all changed. I not only didn't win any more prizes, I couldn't even get in the exhibits. Go like the wanderer, the sun gone down. Darkness be over me, my rest a stone. Yet in my dreams I'd be nearer, my God, to thee, nearer, my God, to thee, nearer to thee. There let the way appear, steps unto heaven. All that thou sendest me in mercy given. Angels to beckon me nearer, my God, to thee, nearer, my God, to thee. Nearer to Thee. This is my Father's world, and to my listening ears, all nature sings and round me rings the music of the spheres. This is my Father's world, I rest me in the thought of rocks and trees, of skies and seas, is and the wanderer's rod. This is my Father's world, the birds their carols raise, the morning light, the lily white, declare their Maker's praise. This is my Father's world, the battle is not done, Jesus who I shall be satisfied, the earth and heaven be one. Shall we gather at the river, where bright angels' feet have trod? With its crystal tide forever Flowing by the throne of God There will reach the shining river Lay we every burden down Grace our spirits will deliver And provide a robe and crown Yes, we'll gather at the river, the beautiful, the beautiful river. Gather with the saints at the river that flows by the throne of God. Soon we'll reach the 
shining river Soon our pilgrimage will cease Soon our happy hearts will quiver With a melody of peace Yes, we'll gather at the For the beautiful river Gather with the saints at the river That flows by the throne of God shady grove peaches in the summertime apples in the fall if I can't get the girl I love I won't have none at all shady grove my true love shady grove I'll know shady grove my true love I'm bound for the shady grove once I was a little boy playing in the sand now I am a great big boy I think myself a man shady grove my true love shady grove I'll know Shady Grove, my true love, I'm bound for the Shady Grove. When I was a little boy, I wanted a whittling knife. Now I am a great big boy, and all I want so why. Shady Grove, my true love, Shady Grove, I'll know. Shady Grove, my true love, I'm bound for the Shady Grove. I wish I had a banjo string made of golden twine, and every tune I'd pick on it is I wish that girl were mine. Shady Grove, my true love, Shady Grove, I'll know. Shady Grove, my true love, I'm bound for the Shady Grove. Fly around, my blue-eyed girl, fly around, my daisy, fly around, my blue-eyed girl, nearly drove me crazy. Shady Grove, my true love, Shady Grove, I'll know. Shady Grove, my true love, I'm bound for the Shady Grove. The very next time I go that road, and it don't look dark and gray, the very next time I come to that road, I'll stop and see my daisy. Shady Grove, my true love, Shady Grove, I'll know. Shady Grove, my true love, I'm bound for the Shady Grove. Shady Grove, my true love, Shady Grove, I'll know. Shady Grove, my true love, I'm bound for the Shady Grove.
sunset, no clouds will gather, no storms will threaten, no fears annoy. O day of gladness, O day unended, beyond the sunset, eternal joy. sunset a hand will guide me to God the Father whom I adore His glorious presence His word of welcome will be my portion on that fair sunset O oh, glad reunion with our dear loved ones who've gone before in that fair homeland we'll know no parting beyond the sunset forever I think I came into the painting of objects, of things, out of a reluctance to let things go. When the family home place had to be emptied, there were things there that I could not store, and yet I wanted to preserve in some way. One of the first things I went down there and painted was a couple of quilts on trunks, which were in the upstairs bedroom. I went on from there to the anvil, the grindstone, the churn, the cotton baskets, things in the pantry, and a number of things like that. At about that same time, I came under a great deal of stress from a number of different sources, and I realized, I think more than I ever had before, that people don't see things in the same way. I began to wonder if I myself knew what the actual truth in things was. And so I began to concentrate on all matter of things around the house. Flowers, of course, are always beautiful, but I even painted sticks and stones. Traditionally, pictures such as the ones you're seeing now have been called drawings. I suppose that's because they were drawn first and then colors were filled in. But in my case, I paint directly with the brush without a pencil drawing, and I prefer to think of them as paintings. I come to the garden alone While the dew is still on the roses And the voice I hear Falling on my ear, the Son of God discloses. And He walks with me, and He talks with me, and He tells me I am His own. And the joy we share as we tarry there None other has ever known He speaks and the sound of His voice Is so sweet the birds hush their singing And the melody that he gave to me within my heart is ringing. And he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there 
Joy we share as we tell. 